One of the biggest mistakes made with downspouts, you go under a sidewalk and then you come up. So you just create a sink trap for shingle gravel to be trapped. I mean, how's it gonna get out of there? Look at the pipe, goes underneath the walkway, and then it comes up and they just put a four inch grate. Instead of a nice big pop-up that leaves can come out of, you're even gonna trap organic material. So how do we improve on this? Okay, so we have really good slope going out to the street. So this was a bad decision to come this way. We need to go that way so that we have some drop. So this needs to go under the sidewalk and then instead of coming back up, you stay down and you keep digging as the grade falls away and you finally will eventually daylight it and the pipe will stay level and it won't build up and create a sink trap just fill full of shingle gravel. Just a nice gradual run and then put an inline basin to shop vac the shingle gravel out of and then a nice pop-up that's easy to clean. That's the right way to do it. We're going to take a look inside this pipe. This pipe holds its shape when it's been in a certain position for years. You can see how it's like a horseshoe shape. This is trapping debris in the pipe and there's no inline catch basin so there's no way to get that debris out and there was no pop-up that was easy to get inside. Let's take a look inside this pipe. Shingle gravel, full solid. So take a look at what an older shingled roof will do as it's aging and breaking down. It's losing shingle gravel, a lot of shingle gravel. There's a reason why we have to replace those roofs. After a while, the shingles break down, deteriorate, and the roof needs to be replaced. This did not have an inline catch basin, nor was it built where it had slope. Didn't have a pop-up that you could open up and clean out either. And it didn't have a Y clean out that you could push a garden hose through and flush the pipe clean. These are all the things that we see that are done wrong during an underground buried downspout system installation. And unfortunately, the corrugated pipe gets a bad rap because of its flexible characteristics. People are allowed to do this horseshoe shape instead of a deeper dig where they take it out further, where they can daylight it. And it's not this U shape. You want to dig it underneath the walk and then go out, down, and just keep digging until you daylight further down in the slope. Yes, it takes more work to do that, but the results speak for themselves. It's the difference between having a roof runoff system that lasts forever and a system that's going to fail you, and you're going to end up with a flooded basement, a flooded crawl space, and you're going to have to redo the system because you didn't put an inline catch basin, a clean out at the house, a pop-up emitter that you can get your hand in. Look at this, we see it all the time. So this is why we put in all that extra effort. We put in those inline catch basins that can fill full of shingle gravel. And it's super easy to just take the four inch grate off and put a shop vac in. We do the clean outs up at the house. It's super easy to put a garden hose in and flush the system clean. You have an inline catch basin that you can shop vac out, and this is why we go so far out into the yard so that we can get the drop that we need so that we can get everything to run clean through the system. And of course, a pop-up you can get your hand down in. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. All right, everybody, until that next video, 